Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Today's lesson is in response to a viewer who wrote asking for my help in calculating standard hours worked, overtime hours worked, and then how to calculate the payment for standard and overtime rates. Well, the viewer is not alone in expressing frustration when doing time calculations in Excel, getting the format correct is the key. So over here, I've created a simple little time chart. I've used the labels for the day of the week, and over here I have a cell entry for when the employee clocked in to begin work for the day, when they clocked out in order to go to lunch, when they returned from lunch, this is the cell reference, and when they ended their work day, that's the cell reference. So calculating the number of hours worked in the day is a fairly standard uh, calculation. Equals, and then inside left, and right parentheses, we want to have the result of the hour when they clocked out for lunch minus or subtracting the hour when they began work for the day, plus inside left and right parentheses, when they ended work for the day minus when they clocked in after returning for lunch. Control enter. Well, they worked nine hours, but we don't want the formatting with AM PM. Common frustration right mouse click, come down here to Format Cells. What we want to do is not be on the Time category, rather we want to be in the Custom category. And what we want to look for is we want to look for one of the categories that will show us the hours and then the minutes. So we may have to go through and doctor it up. We may have to customize it. So we want to have H for hour, colon, MM for the minutes. Click OK. And now let's copy down the formula and the formatting. So here you can see I worked nine hours. The standard workday is eight hours. Now over here, notice that I use the time function. The time function requires three arguments, time and the hour. So I typed in eight as the hour, hours will be eight hours in a standard workday. Minutes will be zero and seconds will be zero. Now, let's come through and calculate the regular eight-hour day. So in this case, what we want to do is use an if function. We want to say if the number of hours worked during the day exceeds the standard work day, value if true, what do we want to do? Well, we want to say the standard work day was eight hours. All right, let's go through. Equals if left parentheses, and I like to use control A. And this brings up the function arguments dialog box. So our logical test will be if the number of hours worked exceeded or was greater than a reference to the standard workday. Now we want to make this an absolute cell reference so it will remain in place when we copy it down. The easiest way to do that is use the F4 keyboard shortcut to apply the dollar sign to freeze the column as K and to freeze the row as 1. Now the value of true, and we know that this is true, so what do we do if we worked more than the standard workday? Well, what we want to put in there is a reference to the standard workday, and again, let's make that an absolute cell reference. The value if false will be that what we'll want to put in there is the calculation for the number of hours worked during the day click OK. And once again, notice the formatting. So what we'll do over here is we'll come over and we'll right mouse click. Now in Excel 2007, Excel 2010, we have the MIDI toolbar. So over here we have our format paintbrush. Let's double click it. And what we want to do is we want to select the cells that we want to have that H colon MM formatting to for hours and minutes. So now we copied the formatting, but let's copy down the actual formula. So over here you can see the number of regular hours is going to be a match either to the standard workday if we work more than the standard workday, or value of false will be the actual number of hours that we work. Now let's take a look at the overtime. Once again, we're going to use an if function. So we're going to evaluate once again the hours work. Did it exceed a standard work day? If that's the case, then what we want to do is take a subtraction hours worked minus the standard work day. Value of false will put in zero for overtime. So equals if 
left parentheses, control A. In the function arguments dialog box, our logical test will evaluate if the hours worked exceeded or were greater than the regular hours. And again, an intermediate calculation. The value of true will be, let's get the result of subtracting the hours worked minus the regular workday, right parentheses. Value of false will be zero. So if we had no overtime, we want to put in zero. And again, we copied over the formatting, so we have that H colon MM formatting over there. So now when we copy this down, there you go. Now we have the result. Now another problem with formatting. I guarantee you I'm going to get an error when I use equals sum left parentheses and I sum together the hours worked. Well, I know I worked more than 19 hours. I mean, 9 plus 9 is 18 and a half plus 9. Well, come on. This is this is obviously a mistake. Once again, we have to get the formatting correct. So let's right mouse click come down here to format the cells. Once again, on the custom, what we want to do is we want to have a variation over here. We need to supply a left bracket to the left of H and then a right bracket to the right of the hours, to the right of H. So that's the formatting that we want to apply. And again, let's use the format paintbrush to come over and apply that formatting before we do our calculation. So now when we copy this over, we can see that we worked 39 and a half regular hours and three and a half overtime hours. Now we have our pay rates over here. And this is going to present another problem. Over here, we have a time calculation. Over here, we have currency. So here's what we're going to do. We'll say equals refer to the time calculation, but let's multiply it by 24. And now let's copy this over. And for these three cells, what we want to do is we want to change it from being a custom format we want to change it in to be in a currency format. All right, so now, uh, I'm sorry, into a number format. Let's change it into a number format. All right, now we can take the number of hours that we worked in the numeric format and multiply that by the standard hourly rate. So our st standard hourly rate, well, of course, we want to do this over here, equals the number of hours worked as a number multiplied by the standard hourly rate. Click OK. Now over here we want to take a reference to the number of hours worked as a number and multiply that by our overtime rate which is time and a half. And now control enter and there you go. So our pay rate will be the sum function of the regular hours uh, adding in the overtime hours and that's going to be our pay for the period. So just to recap, I use the time function over here. I use the time function to say the standard work week is going to be eight hours. So the number of hours, comma, minutes, which is zero, seconds, which is zero. And then over here I had to remember to use this H M M H colon M M formatting so that I don't have A M P M down here for the number of hours I worked I have to put in this custom format it left bracket H right bracket colon M M and there you've learned how to calculate time now of course you could also use a template this is a template that I downloaded from the internet for a time card now it was protected so in its original state it was protected so what I needed to do is go to the review tab on the ribbon in Excel 2007 Excel 2010 and then unprotect the sheet now in this case it will have some different uh, functions in here again there are many different approaches that you can use lots of ifs lots of ifs the way that I use it with the if evaluating it against the standard workday works for me but there is that one other step that you have to take which is to take a time calculation multiply it by 24 and then again come back and make sure that you have changed the formatting. 
So formatting is the key to understanding how to completely and accurately calculate regular hours worked and overtime hours worked and then apply the proper calculation to get your pay. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.